Hello, St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for tuning in to another weekly video with me, Father Chris. First, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in our parish community. Spiritual mothers, biological mothers, and mothers in other ways. Thank you for your just tender and compassionate love and for always being there and nurturing us and guiding us and teaching us and helping us encounter Christ. I know my own mom watches these videos, so I want to give a special shout out to my own mother. Mom, certainly I love you and thank you for always being there in my life and for helping me come to know my faith and to know the Lord in beautiful and powerful ways. The second thing I wanted to touch on this week was the great news that Roe v. Wade is looking like it will be overturned by our Supreme Court. And what a glorious victory that is. But that doesn't mean that that's the end of the battle. We need to continue to stand for our pro-life efforts. And we are so blessed in this diocese that we have groups like First Way and Aid to Women's Center that offer pregnancy care and resources for not just while they're unborn, but after birth as well. They continue to offer clothes and diapers and whatever else they can help with. So we're very blessed to have those because being pro-life does mean that we are pro-life from conception to death. As I like to refer to it from womb to tomb, right? We are pro-life. That means we are there to provide for the needs of all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. And I speak to that because oftentimes I hear that as an objection thrown against the Catholics, certainly by some of those that are pro-choice, is that Catholics only care for them while they're in the womb. That's not true. Remember, the Catholic Church is the largest charitable organization in the world. We have, in our own Diocese of Phoenix, we have, again, First Way and Aid to Women and other pro-life pregnancy centers. We have food pantries and St. Vincent de Paul societies and homeless shelters and all these places where people can go to find respite and get back on their feet and to recover and hopefully be renewed in their dignity that they still have value and meaning and that's beautiful to be able to witness to that and to support that those are the type of things that maybe every year we have the cda for example and that's one of the big things that the cda the charity and development appeal supports so there are lots of ways we can go we also i know several parishioners in our own communities that, that in our parish community that volunteer at all these different groups first way aid to women's center and St. Vincent de Paul's and Food for the Needy and all these beautiful homeless shelters and food pantries. And so definitely thank you to all of you that are involved in that and those that support with your resources as well. It's truly a beautiful gift. And that is what it means to be pro-life as we support our brothers and sisters at every stage of life, from womb to tomb, from conception to natural death, right? That's, that's what it means to be Catholic, to be pro-life. And that's the work that we continue now as the abortion battle moves to the state level, we want to continue to make sure that we encourage our state legislators to enact pro-life policies, that we vote pro-life, that we support those things that will bring dignity, especially to the unborn, but also to all persons. We want to defend that. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, and what a beautiful gift truly it is to be in the pro-life movement and to be witnessing to the dignity of every human life in this day and age and in this time. Right? As the Lord said it to Esther in the great book of Esther, as she fought for her own people, not for their lives or for their rights. Right? Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. This is the chance and the time that the Lord has put us here to be his warriors, to fight for him and to fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. And what a beautiful gift and what a beautiful joy then to be Catholic and to give that witness on behalf of all life. Let's end it in a prayer then, asking the Lord certainly to bless and to support our mothers and all mothers in our parish community, but also then to pray to inspire us, to continue us to go forth and witness to the dignity of human life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, we thank you for the gift of life, the most foundational and fundamental right, the first right that you give to us that we have by being made in your image and likeness. We pray certainly for just a greater dignity and greater awareness and respect for all human life, from conception to natural death, that the great gift of life may be celebrated, may be, may be something we rejoice in, that we have value, that we have meaning, not because of what we can or cannot do, because we are made in your image and likeness. 
We are made by your love, in your love, to be loved by you. May that always inspire us in all that we do. I thank you and praise you too for all the mothers in our community and for the wonderful witness and the tender compassion that they offer to each of us. May you bless them and shower them with graces. And may they strive to always emulate our blessed mother Mary, wife and mother. And, I, and as she sought to unite herself entirely to you, so may she intercede for all of us as we seek to unite our souls more perfectly to you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Have a great week. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. God bless.